Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you confused about what are prebiotics and probiotics and their potential health benefits? In this video, I'll share the difference between prebiotics and probiotics, some high prebiotic foods, prebiotic and probiotic dietary supplements, health benefits, and risks. First, what is the difference between a prebiotic and a probiotic? Prebiotics provide food for gut bacteria. They include dietary fiber and oligosaccharides. Probiotics are microscopic organisms typically called good bacteria or good bugs. In addition to bacteria, probiotics can also be yeasts. In the U.S., dietary probiotics are found in fermented foods like yogurt and sauerkraut and in dietary supplements providing live microorganisms. Since some people associate bacteria with illness and death, some probiotic dietary supplements use cells or cultures instead. For a probiotic to provide any health benefits, the bacteria or yeast must be alive when it arrives in the gut. Food is the easiest way to obtain prebiotics. High fiber plant foods are high prebiotic foods. Prebiotics include pectins, beta glucans, gums, inulin, resistant starch, and oligosaccharides. Diets providing a variety of plant foods provide a variety of prebiotics. Prebiotics and probiotics are required for gastrointestinal and overall health. Your gut is populated with hundreds of healthy bacteria that science is just beginning to understand. When you take an antibiotic, it kills both good and bad bacteria. When antibiotic treatment ends, your gut must replace the good bacteria that was killed. Do probiotic foods and supplements restore gut bacteria? Only if it has good bacteria that can survive a trip through your stomach to repopulate your gut bacteria. Like most dietary supplements, manufacturers and promoters of prebiotic and probiotic supplements want people to believe they are medically necessary. They make health benefit claims like helps restore digestive balance. Some boldly claim their product survives stomach acid better than others. This, like other claims, is accompanied by an asterisk. For this product, the claim is based on simulated gastric pH. That means their claim is not based on human clinical trials. There currently is little evidence oral probiotics survive the trip to the large intestine. While a food or supplement can claim to provide billions of live cultures, the actual number decreases over time. This product boldly claims to provide 20 billion live probiotic cultures. But there's this pesky double asterisk. If you read it, you'll find the claim is based on per serving guaranteed at time of manufacture. Usually, the date of manufacture is not included. The expiration date is 14 months from the time this photo was taken. Some brands guarantee potency through the expiration date, followed by three asterisks. The potency is guaranteed if you store it as directed. Improper storage any time during the supply chain can reduce or kill probiotic bacteria. Is 10 to 20 billion active cultures reaching your gut significant? The human gut is estimated to have between 30 to 40 trillion bacteria. Let's assume a probiotic supplement supplies 20 billion cultures. Gut bacteria 
is a minimum of 30 trillion cultures. If the probiotic survives the trip to your gut, it provides less than 1% of 30 trillion cultures. The percentage drops to 1 5,000th for 400 trillion cultures. Another marketing tool is the number of strains. Is 10 strains better than one or two? Your gut has over 400 strains of bacteria. The predominant strains include bacteroids, prophyromonas, bifidobacterium, lactobacillus, and clostridium. Dietary supplements usually contain strains of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Some probiotic strains have potential health benefits. Two studies of bifidobacterium infantis 35624 showed it reduced IBS symptoms more than a placebo. To obtain relief from IBS symptoms, you must eat foods or take a supplement with the bifidobacterium infantis strain 35624. This probiotic has B. lactis 04, not B. infantis 35624. Taking a probiotic is not without risk. Most bacteria have specific functions. The science of prebiotics and probiotics is in its infancy. Breaking news based on small, preliminary studies, usually funded by the product manufacturer, happens on a regular basis and then fades into obscurity. In the U.S., there is no requirement to prove prebiotic or probiotic dietary supplements are safe or effective. Probiotics have caused infections in people who are ill or have weakened immune systems. For healthy individuals, most probiotics in yogurt, fermented foods, and supplements are safe. While most prebiotics and probiotics are safe, there is an issue of quality control. In 2017, FDA inspectors found nearly half of the 650 supplement manufacturers failed to accurately report identity, purity, and strength of their supplements. As long as supplement manufacturers follow FDA regulations, they are not required to prove claims made in their advertisements or packaging. Dietary supplements sold in the U.S. without a USP NSF or other third-party testing seal may provide little or no health benefits. Prebiotic and probiotic facts include prebiotics are dietary fiber and oligosaccharides. Probiotics are bacteria and yeasts. Specific probiotic strains may have health benefits like relieving IBS symptoms. To provide health benefits, probiotics must survive the trip to your gut. There is little evidence that probiotic dietary supplements provide any health benefits. The number of live cultures depends on storage and age. And most probiotics are safe for healthy individuals. Some myths are that most people need prebiotic and probiotic dietary supplements regardless of health or diet. Probiotic supplements are clinically proven to be safe and effective. You must take probiotic supplements after taking antibiotics to replenish good gut bacteria and that prebiotic and probiotic supplements are essential for good gut and overall health. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.